Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Today we're going to go ahead and review a fragrance from the house of By Killian. Uh, the fragrance is actually a new release that was released in 2014. It's part of a three uh, part series called Addictive State of Mind. It is none other than Intoxicated. So, as you can see, there are three different fragrances in this line, and uh, I really wanted to actually start and review all three. And so you're going to see three reviews coming from them, uh, you know, going forward. Killian actually sent me, because I'm signed up and I bought, purchased other Killian fragrances, uh, they sent me the samples of all three, and this one, Intoxicated, is the one that we're actually going to go off of. Now, one thing that I actually to keep in mind, I'm almost done with this one actually, but one thing to keep in mind out of all this is that because of that, I only had one sample to go off of, so I really didn't have a chance to, you know, go around and have a hundred different people smell it. So that part is actually omitted from this one. So I apologize for that in advance, but still, you're going to still get the same type of review. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and get right into the review. So it comes in one main size, that's 50 milliliter, and the cost is going to run you about $270 plus tax. So it's a little bit on the expensive side, if you will. Again, fragrance was released in 2014, and the notes of this fragrance consist of, at our, actually for notes overall, we've got coffee, cardamom, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Right. Pretty clear, pretty straightforward list. So what does this smell like? Now, I gotta tell, I gotta tell you, before I actually smelled the, the actual scent itself, I had heard that one of the new ones of By Killian was a, um, carbon copy of another popular fragrance that was out. And so I remember, I smelled it for the first time, put it on, and immediately I was like, Angel Man. I didn't even have to say anything or look up anything. And then, you know, other people were like, yes, Angel Man, Angel Man, Angel Man, Angel Man. And I completely agree. Angel Man was one of my, if not my favorite winter scent. Actually, it was my favorite winter scent. If you look back at my top 10 winter fragrance videos, uh, from when I first started doing them, Angel Man, I think, was my favorite winter scent. And it still is one of my favorites to this day. It's a very aggressive type of a scent. It's a scent that comes at you. Uh, it's dark, if it, you know, dark chocolate. I like the tar note in it. It's got this, you know, dark patchouli in it. It's just very uh, warm, inviting, scrumptious, uh, and, ingress and aggressive on that. And so when I smelled uh, by Killian's Intoxicated, that's when I was immediately like, wow, this is just like Angel Man. Uh, even though the notes are four simple notes, coffee, cardamom, cinnamon, and nutmeg, I was like, I couldn't shake it out of my head. I was like, this is Angel Man. This is Angel Man. So uh, after, you know, doing two days of wearings, I went ahead and applied Angel Man on one hand and uh, intoxicated on the other. And then as I was smelling them, I was like, well, you know, they're not exactly carbon copies, but they still smell too similar enough. So what I mean by that is once I actually started smelling Angel Man, I was like, okay, well, Angel Man is definitely more powerful. It's darker. It's heavier. Uh, it does go a little bit different of a direction uh, than uh, Intoxicated does. Intoxicated pretty much stays linear throughout. But after smelling Angel Man, I was able to really get the smell of Intoxicated. And the four notes that are listed are exactly what I smell in it. So coffee is the primary smell that I smell overall throughout the fragrance. Coffee is the anchor note of this fragrance and then the the cardamom and the cinnamon and the nutmeg really comprise of these little, little spices these little spikes basically of scent that come into the actual uh, overall composition that give you what intoxicated is and that's really what intoxicated is but it still does smell very similar to angel men so uh, with that out of the way the spray wise uh, i usually go about three sprays with intoxicated Whereas with Angel Men, uh, I, it's one of the scents that I go one or two sprays, and after that I kind of dab things together just because it's so powerful. When you spray Angel Men, it actually lives in a nice little sheen on you. So even though I think Angel Men might be EDT, I forgot if it's not, but even so, Angel Men is definitely a lot more powerful than Intoxicated is. So if Intoxicated is, and Intoxicated isn't a slouch. So Intoxicated is about, I would say, a six or a seven on the power scale, whereas Angel Man is a full-on 10, basically. It's, yeah, it's out there. And so 
Intoxicated's projection is going to give you, it's going to be about a little bit above average projection as well as a good siage from it. Um, and it's going to last you about 8 to 10 hours. Whereas, you know, Angelman is in a completely different ball, ball game. People will smell you from over there. It'll leave a trail. People will leave, you know, people will know you've been there two rooms after you've left, basically. And it's going to last, you know, well over 20, 24 hours, basically. So they're different in that respect. Uh, intoxicated is a lot more wearable. It's a lot more calmed down for it. As far as occasion goes, I think intoxicated is a great casual. It's a great bar night fragrance. It's a great going out fragrance. Uh, it's all about being casual with intoxicated. Personally, it's a little bit too sweet for me to wear to work, so I wouldn't do it. Uh, but I think it could be a nice work match for some people who may be so inclined to try. The season, fall and winter. Fall and winter, basically. It's There really isn't much to say. And as far as the age group goes, I really truly believe that any age group can actually pull this one off. So if I'm going to go ahead and give this fragrance a rating, what am I going to give it a rating of? I apologize. And this comes with a, a caveat, if you will. The caveat is I love Killian fragrances. You should People should know this by now. They usually make appearances in my top 10 list. But this one doesn't. This one gets a 5 out of 10. Why does it get a 5 out of 10? It's too close to Angelman. It is very, very, very close to Angelman. And because of that fact, I feel that it's very hard to justify 200, the $270 price tag, even though the design of the bottle and the presentation is just out, flat out outstanding. I still have a very hard time recommending to someone, I don't think I would ever recommend to someone, yeah, I would have you purchase Intoxicated for almost $300 over Angelman, which you could probably at this point get for like 40 or something like that, uh, if you look hard enough. And yes, Intoxicated is more wearable than Angelman is. That said, uh, you can, if you work at it, you know, get Angelman to a more wearable state, whether by spraying one and kind of, you know, re you know, taking that dab and dabbing everywhere on you just to, you know, kind of dilute it a bit. Yeah, it's just too close for me to ever give that rating. That's not to say that it doesn't smell good. I like the smell of it. I think it's a very good smelling fragrance. Again, Angel Man was one of my favorite. Therefore, this, by smell alone, I really like. It's one of my it it's one of my favorite. But the price tag compared to what's actually out there, and because it smells so similar to it, sorry, I just can't give it a good rating for that matter. But it is a good smelling fragrance, so keep that in mind. If you do have two hundred seventy dollars, three hundred bucks to burn, you know, I think you'll be yeah, I think you'll be pleased with the fragrance. But yeah, it's just too similar. All right. So if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free. Send me a message. Leave me a note. Thank you. Do whatever you got to do. Take care of yourselves. And good night.